In September 2022, Canva released its new offering in its design suite, Canva Websites. They promised that this tool would enable us all to create beautiful, responsive and interactive websites for any device. So I guess the question now is, do they live up to the promise? How are they good? How are they bad? And how can they be used in your business? Hi folks, if we haven't met before, I'm Wayne. I'm a creative director and a brand designer, and I help creators and coaches to elevate their visuals and their design. So in this video, we're gonna be having a look at Canva websites, and we're going to be looking at the limitations and the functionality of them, and essentially we'll evaluate them based on five main criteria. So we're gonna be looking at cost, uh, structure and navigation. We'll have a look at responsiveness, We'll have a look at the actual design of the Canva websites and how that works. And then we'll look at actually publishing the website and if you want to, how you get paid using Canva websites to sell products. So let's start with cost. Essentially Canva websites are free to build and publish. If you already use Canva, you know that there is a lot you can do just on their free plan and the same goes for websites. You can actually build, design, and publish a website for free on Canva right now. Of course, like all of Canva's offers, if you wanted to upgrade to a pro version, which at the time of making this video works out to about $12 a month, um, you get access to a wider range of assets, graphics, templates, videos, etc., and also some additional functionality when it comes to Canva websites. But apart from that, there is no cost if you wanted to do it using Canva's built-in domain. Now, this isn't exactly a pretty link for your website because you end up with my.canva.site and then you can customize the rest of it. Um, but there are always domain shorteners or link trees, things like that, that make it easy to direct people to your website. So that may well be an option. If you do have a Canva Pro account, what you can do is link an existing domain to your website. And you can also buy a new domain through Canva. And at the moment, those seem to be comparatively priced to any other domain purchase function. Let's have a look at structure and navigation. So essentially Canva websites are created by having a series of slides or panels, which then become one single scrolling website. So this means that you're a little limited in terms of the structure of your website but Canva does have built-in automatic navigation that allows you to create a very simple navigation bar at the top of your site automatically, which directs people to various panels within that long scrolling page. Now, obviously this means that you don't have a lot of control over what you do with your navigation because it's automatically created and formatted, but in terms of a simple website and an easy way of creating navigation, it's actually pretty good. The navigation works by looking at the names of individual panels and using those as the navigation link. Now, what you can do is just not have a name on a certain panel and that way that won't be listed in navigation. And of course you have, always have the option of just not using the automatic navigation and just having it as a single scrolling page, which might be fine if you have shorter pages. In terms of other things to consider with the structure of these websites, it is worth noting that there is no functionality built in for anything like a podcast or blogging or other content creation functions. You can of course have a link that goes to an external blog, podcast or any other link that you want to put into a button or text link on the page. But at the moment, you couldn't really have a website with blogging functionality built on Canva. Let's talk about responsiveness. So Canva promised that the website builder would allow us to create websites that were responsive and looked great on any device. And it kind of lives up to that promise. For me personally, it has some severe limitations in this area, but not because it's not responsive, just because to keep it responsive, you would have to keep your design fairly simple and stay within the constraints of already laid out pages or panels that Canva has created and make available for you to use. Now this isn't a problem because you can actually do some really nice things with those with some clever design using Canva's built-in suite of videos, images, graphics, etc. 
but it does mean that if you wanted to do some particularly creative layouts, overlapping images, etc., that will have an effect on the responsive view of this website. Basically what happens is that Canva's responsive AI, for lack of a better term, makes some assumptions or decisions based on your content about how it should lay out your website when it comes to mobile view. Now currently you have no custom or manual controls over uh, mobile or even tablet view when you're building the website. But in most cases it does a pretty good job of making it look decent and working. And there are some tips and tricks as you work with it that you start to learn about how to group objects etc to make them look the way you want them to look when it comes to the mobile view. But when it comes to desktop view, it looks great. And as I say, if you stick to the established structures that they've given you, it's pretty easy to make a responsive website that looks pretty good on mobile very quickly, but it is a little restrictive. Trying to get your design to look good on mobile requires a little bit of trial and error. So it can be a bit time consuming because you have to switch between views to check what it looks like on mobile. However, Canva has made it really easy to do that with a preview button that allows you to preview your site in desktop or mobile view just with a couple of clicks. So it's pretty easy to just keep checking how your site looks as you build it and make sure it works for you that way. Another thing to note is that I see Canva is asking for feedback on the mobile view almost every time you preview your site in mobile. And I think that's really key because it means that they are looking to improve and they are asking for feedback to see what is working and what isn't with the designs that you are creating. So hopefully they will advance that a little bit and maybe we'll get some more manual controls for mobile and tablet views in terms of the responsiveness of websites. Because with today's figures looking at about 50-50 mobile to desktop, most websites, we need to make sure that responsive is a priority. So let's talk about design. So as I mentioned, Canva websites are essentially a series of slides or panels that are then combined to create one scrolling long website. You can adjust the height of the panels to create some kind of variation, but in general it works by individual slides. Now, as with anything in Canva, when you're designing your website, you have access, even on a free account, to a huge range of graphics, animated GIFs, fonts, color schemes, videos, stock images. So really, the possibilities for design on Canva websites are unlimited. One of the things that does make a difference is that if you have a Canva Pro account, you can set up brand kits as a standard part of Canva Pro. When you're building your website, Brand kits make it so much easier to create a consistent branded look for your sales page or website. Basically that just means that you can establish what fonts, colors, even other designs are part of your brand kit and apply them with a click of a button. Which means you can pull in slides or panels from pre-made uh, site designs that Canva provided and then just with the click of a couple of buttons make them consistent with the rest of your website design, which makes it incredibly easy to pull a website together and make it look great design-wise. Canva already provides quite a wide range of existing websites for you to just customize for yourself with your own images and fonts. There's actually a surprising amount in there considering that this only launched in September 2022. But the one thing that you will notice is that they have very consistent designs to each panel. Um, there's nothing hugely creative about the layout, and that's because of those responsiveness limitations that I mentioned earlier on. But if you stick to those general layouts, you can really create something quickly and easily that looks fantastic. One of the things that Canva mentioned was that these websites were going to be interactive, and that, I feel, is one of the things that it may have overpromised. There's no real interactivity. Although you can have animated graphics and animated GIFs on the page, and you can of course have a button or a text or even an object that links, that has a hyperlink to anywhere on the web or elsewhere within the structure of that web page. That's pretty much it for interactivity. Um, for example, you don't even have any control over hover states of buttons and things like that. 
But most people now know what a link looks like and where to go when they're looking for a button. So as long as you stick to a fairly standard and consistent design, that shouldn't be much of a problem for people. But personally, I feel that interactivity is definitely something that's lacking when it comes to Canva websites. Two things that are definitely worth mentioning in terms of the design and interactivity even, is that you can embed other Canva designs into a Canva web page. Now, this is just really simple by copying and pasting the design link that you create in any Canva design. And what that does is it embeds it in a, an iframe like on any other website. Um, and that's a very interesting way that you could potentially create slideshows or other interactive elements by combining other Canva designs into the website. The other thing that's actually particularly good is the video function within Canva websites. You have access to Canva's library of images, but you can upload your own, and you can even record yourself directly from within Canva. Putting those into your website, it's actually very clever the way that it handles it. The responsive resizing is very clever and very intuitive, and it even allows you to overlay frames or text graphics over the video so that when the video plays, you have that graphic in front of the video, something that actually is often lacking in functionality on other websites, um, particularly with overlaying of elements. When it comes to the basics of design, Canva really has it nailed down. Obviously, you have access to all of their fonts and an even larger selection of fonts if you have a Canva Pro account, videos, graphics, etc. And you can also customize the favicon and you can, of course, customize the description of your website so that it, it appears in search results the way you want it to sound and read. So let's talk about publishing and getting paid. So first of all, to get a website live on the internet from Canva websites is incredibly easy. If you use one of Canva's free domains, you could build design and publish a website live on the internet within minutes probably, and that's not even an exaggeration. You could then use a link shortener or a redirect to point people to that longer, ugly URL. Or if you were in a Canva Pro account or Canva Teams account, you can then either purchase a domain through Canva or you can link an existing domain, which again is a really simple process and they have step-by-step -step instructions which make it incredibly simple for anybody to do. Now getting paid is a little bit of a different story. Canva doesn't have a built-in e-commerce function. It doesn't have a checkout function either. So it means that if you wanted to sell anything to your Canva website, you would have to direct people to a third-party checkout. Now, although that may seem like a bit of a hassle, it's actually a really good thing because it means you can choose your preferred checkout function, perhaps one that you already use, something you're familiar with, or even one of the free functions for checking out using things like Stripe or Square, um, and other credit card providers have free options that you could use. But at the moment, there are so many possibilities that all you would do is you would link a button to that checkout and you can then choose whichever checkout you wish to use. So whether it's ConvertKit or Flowdesk or Thrivecart, all of those are possible and you just simply link a button on your Canva page to take people there to pay. It's worth mentioning also that the SEO and analytics within Canva websites is pretty basic. They do have the basics there, but you have very limited options and control over SEO and over analytics. Um, but for a simple website, particularly a one-page website, which Canva websites are focused on being, you probably have all that you need. So what do we think about Canva websites? Do they live up to the promise and are they any good? And what are they good for? So personally, I think as a competitor to established website platforms like Squarespace or Showit or WordPress, Canva websites really don't cut it yet. Um, they're just not robust enough, the lack of blogging functionality and the lack of control over your responsive and mobile views means that I just don't think that they really stand up to those kind of platforms. And there are a lot of tools now that enable us to do that for free or for you know, very small amounts. So I think Canva websites have a long way to go before they'll be a, a real competitor for a serious business website. However, if you already use Canva and you are comfortable with it, you work with it quickly, 
I can't think of many tools that give you access to the suite of graphics, videos, fonts, color schemes, and potential layouts for you to use in your website, um, all for free. So I think in that sense, Canva websites could be really indispensable for getting something up quickly and easily and for free and using tools that you already know. So there's no huge learning curve and it's not going to take hours and hours of trying to figure out a new page builder. Personally, I think the strength of Canva websites lies in the fact that they can be used for so many different things. I think with a bit of creativity on the design side and a bit of creativity on the strategy side, these could become an indispensable tool for small businesses and artists and creators and coaches. These could be used for client or team onboarding. They could be used for offboarding. They could be used for event pages, for lead magnet pages. And one of the really powerful uses I see for them is to use them as sales pages. With the ability to link to your third party checkout, you could get a sales page designed and up using all the assets you already have in Canva or using their built in assets literally within a couple of hours. And traditionally, sales pages have been prohibitively difficult to build because you'd have to have access to or pay to use a certain page builder. You'd have to know your way around that. You'd have to have a very long structured way of doing it. But actually, Canva websites could provide all of that very quickly and easily, allowing you to basically get your products or your service or your launch out there and get paid. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe and notify buttons below and sign up to my mailing list as well called Meaningful Creations, because in the next video, I'm actually gonna be building a sales page just using the Canva website's function from start to finish, and I'm gonna walk you through that whole process. I'm also going to be creating a free download of a sales page template for you to use for free in Canva. And I will talk you through how exactly to use that and how to design and write a high converting, beautiful sales page. So if you're interested in that, please give us a follow and sign up to the mailing list and we'll let you know when that video goes live. So that's it. Thank you, lovely people. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found this useful and um, have a fabulous day.